Now listen to me, tis done thus. Mistress Elsie, there is one here who, as thou knowest, loves thee right well. That he does, right well. He is but a man of poor estate, but he hath a loving, honest heart. He will be a true and trusty husband to thee. If thou wilt be his wife, thou shalt lie curled up in his heart, like a little squirrel in its nest. Oh, tis a pretty figure. A maggot and a raisin lies closer, but a squirrel will do. He knoweth that thou wast a wife, an unloved and unloving wife, and his poor heart was near to breaking. But now that thine unloving husband is dead and thou art free, he would fain pray that thou wouldst hearken unto him and give him hope that thou wouldst one day be his. He presses her hands and he whispers in her ear, Oh, Bodikins, what does it mean? Now, sweetheart, tell me, wilt thou be this poor good fellow's wife? If the good brave man, is he a brave man? So men say. That's not true, but let it pass. If the good man would be content with a poor, penniless, untaught maid. Widow, but let that pass. I will be his true and loving <coughs> wife, and that with my heart of hearts. My own dear love. Why, what's this? Brother, brother, it is not seemly. I can't let that pass. Hold, enough, Master Leonard. An advocate should have his fee, but methinks thou art o'er paying thyself. Nay, that is for Elsie to say. I promised thee I would show thee how to woo. And herein lies the proof of the virtue of my teaching. Go thou and apply it elsewhere. When a wooer goes a wooing, not his truer than his joy. Red and hushing all his suing, boldly blushing, bravely coy, bravely coy. Feelings fester, heart is led. Food for fishes, only fitted. Jester wishes he was dead. Food for fishes, only fitted. Jester wishes he was dead. All oh, the doing and undoing, all oh, the sighing and the suing. When a jester goes a and he wishes he was dead. All oh, the doing and undoing, all oh, the sighing and the suing, when a jester goes a wooing, and he wishes he was dead. 